Hey guys, Melinda Haynes, license number 102308. How can I deal with my child's anger? Now, sometimes we see kiddos get so angry that they will kick and fight and punch and scream and yell and throw toys. Uh, maybe they'll beat up on their siblings. Sometimes they beat up on their parents, um, things like that. We need to be able to understand that um, anger is a normal human emotion. And it's not bad to be angry. Being angry is is usually saying something's wrong. You know, some somebody's had an injustice. Somebody's been um, violated in some way. Something's gone wrong. And so when we have anger, we need to be able to express it. But we need to be able to express it in a way that is respectful to myself, to ourselves, and to other people. So how do we do that with kids? See, because the thing is that we'll come in as parents and immediately correct the emotion you know where it will punish them for um you know throwing the fit or for um hitting we'll punish 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 and you know we'll send them send them away or we'll we'll send them like to the room well um <clears throat> maybe we spank them which that's another story because we can't we can't hit for hitting I and mean, that just doesn't that doesn't really work out in the long run um we'll do whatever it is that we do in our family as punishment we punish this kid and they're not understanding, even though we're only punishing the behavior, they don't understand the difference between you punished my behavior versus you punished my emotion. And that's where we need to make sure there is a very clear difference. Because if their emotion is anger, we need to hear their anger. We need to meet their anger. We need to validate it. We need to accept it. We need to understand it. The behavior, we need to redirect. Okay, we need to redirect the behavior. So, oh, you know, I see you're so mad. Here are some other things that you can do. This is what I do when I get angry. Oh, I punch my pillow. You know, or I scream in my pillow. I put my pillow up and I, ah! Okay, or um, when I'm angry, you know, I go, um, I go out into the backyard and I do jumping jacks. Or, you know, I run around really fast. I go for a run around the block. I, um, you know, I take the dog for a walk. Um, I throw a ball really hard against um, the wall. Whatever it is that you guys can work out, <clears throat> excuse me, some families have done um, punching bags. Um, other families have, you know, like big, like grassy areas where the kids can just throw things, whether it's a ball or a rock, <clears throat> as long as they're not throwing it at anybody, right? Another good thing to do is get um, like one of those big, like bouncy balls and just have the kiddo take it out and like, you know, go up above their head as, as hard, high as they can, as hard as they can, and slam, you know, the ball, like, is to bounce it really hard, slam it on the concrete, and then it'll go bouncing, you know, up. And then um, they go run and get it, and then they do it again. And as they're, like, coming down and, like, uh, releasing it, they have to make, like, some really, like, loud ninja noise. Well, ninjas are quiet, but, like, a loud karate noise, um, some kind of, uh, you know, grunting or um, screaming noise. So that way they're just really releasing all of that anger energy and getting that out. So what we do is we make sure we don't correct the, the emotion. The emotion's okay to have. Maybe we can even get to the reason why. Like, why is this going on? Why are you so angry? And what's happening? We can we can get through that um, just through being present. You know, asking questions. They don't always know the answer, but we can sometimes figure it out just by being there and being for them and not um, constantly punishing and disciplining. And then by correcting the behavior by saying this is not how we act when we're angry. This is what we do when we're angry. And we give them something else to do. So that way they have something to do. So once you've set that new plan in place, like, you know, your anger's okay. And here's what we do with your anger. Then if they still continue in this old behavior where they're hitting and kicking and punching and, and, and doing things that they should not be doing, there is a consequence for that. But when we enact the consequence, we have to make sure that we say, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not punishing your emotion. Your emotion is okay. The way you handled it was not okay. It's not safe. Remember, we have to do something with our anger that's safe for you and safe for other people. Because some kids, you know, they'll hit their head or they'll, um, they'll scratch. Some kids will scratch. Um, cutting, we'll see cutting um, usually later um, in the, the preteen and teen years. Um, and some of that's related to depression. Some of that's related to anger, unexpressed anger. Um, so we need to give them um, outlets. You know, how can I express 
my emotions in a way that is respectful of my own body and my own person and the, the bodies and, and <clears throat> excuse me, people um, around me. So let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. All right. Thank you. Bye.